Okay. These uh, drawings that we're looking at here now, <coughs> these were drawn on the computer in class. Uh, and what I want to go through, and let's just give you a preview here real quick. Uh, step one, step two, three, and four. Now, uh, the advantage, of course, of taking a drawing on the computer is that I can take and go back through the step-by-step. Step. <clears throat> now, let me ex explain now exactly what I'm doing. This first step, as you, as you can see right here now, is that I'm taking and capturing the total. And this is really a process of leading the eye through the figure. I'm discovering the figure at the same time that I'm doing it. So it's an analysis. It's an analytical analysis of the action. So I'm focusing on just the action, but at the same time, I'm leading the eye uh, through it. And so in a sense, I'm animating it. What I'm doing is I'm going from one point to the next, to the next, to the next, as my mind is trying to understand how the parts relate. There's no one way of doing this, of course. And you can see in this other drawing here now, I've gone through, I'm taking numerous steps as I go through. And I'm coming through and going over the form. So this is really the first step in the, doing the drawing. First you, first you take and you capture the uh, basic gesture. <clears throat> okay, the next step in the drawing is, and, and in doing these drawings, I was taking and actually, they were all done on top of each other. Whether I'm working on a computer or working on a paper, it makes no difference. Now, as I'm developing the drawing, as you can see here, the idea is that you contain forms. You take and you build, you build one form on top of the other. So what I'm doing is going over the surface I'm containing. Of course, this is nothing more than a simple spherical form as we build it. But you don't, as I do this, you can, as you look at the drawing, you can see that I'm just, I'm thinking of actually the rib cage. I'm bracketing, I'm going from one side of the form to the other. Uh, it gives symmetry. You can actually feel where, in other words, when I'm putting this down, you can feel the axis of one form to the next. So. I'm building, I'm building the figure up using very, very simple volumes, uh, cylinders, as you can see, uh, building up. Uh, also, uh, often I'll be working with boxes. Uh, these are all kinds of different approaches. So now I'm going through, you can see in this second figure here, same thing, just simple, simple volumes. Okay, in the next step, I taking and basing on, basing by drawing on the uh, volumes that I've got. That I, I then take and build. In other words, when you can see if you can look at, for instance, like the, this belly here, is a good example. I have one volume, and then I take and there's another volume. But the idea of thinking about the volume like this, I, I'm just really, in this particular couple of drawings, I'm just using a simple tone to push the sides back. I'm adding a little more information, uh, a little bit more detail. I am thinking of uh, light sources. So you can see in the form, but at the same time, as you look at the seated figure, I'm focusing on using those tones to help show and push the action. So it's a, a process of building up. I go through the whole figure each time. So now in the next uh, step here, and this was just a this was just a quick sketch. Uh, I don't think this was probably more than uh, well, probably less than five minutes, and it was probably more uh, like maybe three minutes. So now. What I've done is I'm going back in at this final step. I folk out all along, and it's just really a gesture drawing. As you notice the tone in the background here, 
how it's going through and taking an amplify it comes in front goes behind I'm making the action stronger so if I start out with a simple volume or a simple movement like this I will take and use tone to take and come in and make that movement stronger by amplifying and pushing the volume so it's building up but coming back in and hitting the stronger darks hitting the accents clarifying a little bit of the form but this is a very very clear-cut step-by-step approach to taking and doing the drawing and then this is the way i teach it's an analytical constructive approach to drawing